Whenever you are involved with a, a dear friend and you lose them, um, you know, it's just you just think about life being short, and you just you never know. You never you, you question, you know, why some people are chosen to have to go early and some not. And so you you try to live your life to the fullest. Jerome was, <laughs> we go way back, obviously, um, from my earlier days here in Portland. Both came from very small and humble beginnings. Uh, some of our uh, makeup was the same. Both was extremely hard workers, you know, did everything they had to do to try to get on the floor. And I think that uh, we caught that bond because of that. We were friends, you know, for the rest of the time that he was um, with us. And there is the former NBA All-Star, 17-year NBA vet. He spent a decade playing for the Trailblazers and really feels... It was a great opportunity uh, for me to stay in, stay in Portland, still be involved with my boys. I just had so many things that I hold value in regards to how I wanted to live my life going forward. it would be interesting to see now, uh, you know, when you have a son play for you, you have to start distributing minutes and seeing how, um, you know, that all plays out. Um, you talk about their own mindset, player to player, what they have to do, player to coach, and then player to dad. And that's, you know, two thirds of that's the same guy. So in regards to that, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. But I look forward to it. If, if never UNC. UNC's here. UNC. Gonzaga. Oh. I don't know about Kansas. I don't know about Kansas. I think it's going to be a, uh, something when it's all said and done, we're going to be able to look back on and just say, what an unbelievable experience and opportunity to be able to be coached by your dad. We spent so much time together with basketball. Basketball has been an amazing part for our family. It's meant so much for us. And we've been able to achieve so much and do so many things because of it. Their dream was always to play D1 basketball. And so for them to achieve that and then be, be the coach of it was just something that, uh, like I said, it just it's going to be it's going to be something that when we look back on, it's going to be something special.